Hello, I'm Philipp Fusenecker. I'm one of the director. And uh, for all who know Peaches, it's a must-see movie. And for all the other people who ha haven't heard about Peaches, come and watch it because you missed something. <laughs> Um, hi, my name is Judy Landkammer. I'm the um, co-director and editor of the movie. And um, yeah, what can I say? You just have to watch the film. <laughs> Which camera is it? This one? <laughs> Which one are we doing? Um, hello, I'm Susanne Hoyer. I'm the dramaturge of the Peaches documentary. And I mean, it is called Teachers of Peaches because we think there's something to learn and I guess everybody has to figure out what that is themselves. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean-Bor Bobak, and this time we are talking about the film Teaches of Peaches. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, maybe let's start with what was your first ever memory of Peaches? What was your first encounter with Peaches? Mm. I think when I first had sex with a man, mm -hmm. I think the, the album was playing in the background while we were fucking. <laughs> Uh -huh. so that was my first experience with the Teachers of Peaches. Yeah, that's very memorable yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about you? I think you have actually. I mean, nice. mine is uh, a little less um, exciting, maybe. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> no, for me, I was just, uh, I actually um, got to know Peaches music kind of late ish, I would say. Mm -hmm. 2009 it was when I came to Berlin. And I was just, you know, a baby queer who didn't really know mm -hmm. what's going on or like, you know, figuring mm -hmm. it all out. And then I um, was living with seven other people in a, in a house. And uh, it was my shift to clean. And um, one of my flatmates introduced me actually to Peaches Music. And then I was, you know, it was one of those days where you mm -hmm. just like have all these feelings inside of yourself. And then I was putting on Fuck the Pain Away and was cleaning the toilets and... <laughs> <laughs> That's really <laughs> it, and it kind of stuck with me because um, this song and uh, yeah, specifically this song kind of mm, I connected a lot with mm. uh, the first encounter of my yeah. like feelings, queer feelings, and not, not queer feelings, but my my figuring it all out kind of yeah. feelings yeah, in yeah, Berlin. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> very nice. I think I have a, my encounter <clears throat> of Peaches is like very separate of like I knew her music. Mm -hmm. through a friend, a Canadian friend, and she's like super into Peaches music, so it was very, uh, very linked to that person, to me, and then um, when I met Peaches in person for the first time, because I didn't know what she looked like, I had no mm -hmm. yeah. like, uh, idea, um, she was this very gentle, calm, polite woman who then allowed us to come to the to a storage with her, which actually started the whole, the whole thing in a way, in a... Uh, so that was uh, really interesting for me. So my encounter was like actually two different ones in a way. Yeah. That was nice. super cool. And then there was a bit of like um, contrast between your impressions. That's what I hear out from your Well, words. I mean, um, Peaches and Meryl are two different yeah, entities, I would say, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously, like there, there's a lot of similarity, but she is surprisingly Mm -hmm. uh, calm and nice and gentle 
Yeah, yeah, that takes a, a crucial part in the film as well. So we will yes. come back to this topic for sure. Um, but I'm wondering, I mean, in the film you really take a very large look at Peaches's life and work. Um, so it's like a really big time frame with which you are working in the film. How did you come to frame the narrative so that it would all come together into one coherent film at the end? At the beginning it was not so that we had a clear plan how to do it. Mm -hmm. It was more like uh, I got hired as a director for this project and it came in very late and uh, me and my cameraman Dino went on tour with her and mm -hmm. so we had to quickly establish kind of trust and yeah. but there were a lot of limitations I was also the director and the sound technician and so so we I also took the camera work over together with Dino during the shows and then we, it was clear okay we, we cannot tell the show out of two camera angles so we decided okay let's try to get the best shots from different moments of the of the, yeah. of the show and um, and I, I heard that she has some archive material and I was oh. hoping that we could all, you know, mix this up together and, and her voice, Peach's voice and the, the music will be like the glue that holds everything mm -hmm. together. And this was kind of the first idea and from that on we, we worked our way through and, and, uh, and then we split it up into topics and um, Julie did the first. Um, I got a little bit of the depressed because I was like, oh, this is too much, I don't know how to fix that in the editing room. So yeah. I gave it to her and she was like, yeah, Do actually, your best. <laughs> <laughs> it, was Great. Great. <laughs> it was it was really like this. The first four weeks or so, it was just me in the editing room, mm. and uh, I had, there was this pile of, um, you know, um, footage of the anniversary tour. It was ten shows, different yeah. cameras, that are, and there were interviews with um, with the band members, and there was one initial interview with Peaches, which was more like an icebreaker interview. Mm. It was more like a test shot. Her, you know, mm. yeah. to get a little bit how what yeah. can we tell, you know. But it wasn't really like, you know, yeah, we can create a film out of that. Yeah. And then yeah. we had uh, this huge mountain of archive, we were talking like 20 years, yeah. that she collected herself and from other people who filmed uh, during those years as well. And um, yeah, and then we had this. We kind of wanted to obviously focus on the teachers of peaches and the creation, and so we kind of had the time frame of, let's say, three to five years maybe that we then narrowed it down mm -hmm. to that. Yeah. But um, yeah, then we had this huge challenge, which was like, how do you tell the now, the the tour, with the with the past? Yeah, exactly. How Meryl Nisker became peaches? How do you kind of tell that parallel. And then it was very quickly clear also that you cannot just tell two timelines because Peaches, you know, stands for something. She's a queer icon. Right. Mm. So there's all these ideas and topics we wanted to talk about. So that's kind of another layer that is yeah. that is not parallel, but kind of is interwoven like mm -hmm. a red, almost like a red, uh, how do you say, string. Thread, yeah. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah. And then, and then, and then the post-its came. And then the post-its came. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me about the post-its. Um, so, like, I mean, there, there was a bit of like kind of biographical beginning, and then it kind of broke off because it was really more about themes and topics, right? So yeah. there was so much interview material, also old things and new things, and. So the developing of new interview questions came from looking at old interviews and recurring themes. And then yeah. these recurring themes, I even used like a search uh, function on, on text, you know, so to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. find where did she talk about this and that yeah. topic. Yeah. So the topics were then, then Philip went and got colorful post-its. I was like, okay, let's do it. And it went up on Judy's wall in yeah. like clusters. So basically there's a cluster that's just hair because yeah. it's a big, it's a big topic. Like she talks about the crotch hair, and then the house sculptures of yeah. costumes. It developed into a huge thing, and it stands for something, right? So um, then there was like I don't know, aging. There was queerness. There was uh, different bubbles. I think yeah. that formed, and then the songs could attach to the bubbles, and then 
different parts of the story clustered in that way. Mm -hmm. So I think in my mind what was created was very similar to a memory because I think this mm -hmm. is actually how we remember our lives. It's not this happened and this happened, mm -hmm. it's like yeah. oh this reminds me of this. Yeah. yeah. And then there was yeah. bits in the lyrics that led to one thing and then a picture so for me it was always it felt like doing doing this like finding uh -huh. the finding yeah. the connections that's definitely a layer that is that is there like an associative layer nearly uh -huh. and yeah. this is how it could work and then i think around it to me there's another layer of frame which is a fairy tale frame from mm. the beginning when the first bit that judy cut it is peaches with the kids and singing these songs and finding this glass slipper yeah and this is i think a recurring thing it's like this Berlin fairy tale that then happened at the end it all closes in a way because they're building their castle yeah. where everybody can yeah. come it's it's terribly romantic isn't it I yeah for sure absolutely and that was like really after this month when I let Julie alone with the material she sent me this first mm. three minutes of she as a teacher teaching yeah mm. and then yeah. I was sure okay now we can we can start now it's gonna work this is the energy yeah. that we need this is how everything goes together. Yeah, I sent so it. So then I came back to yeah. Berlin. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's do this. Yeah. I sent it and after five minutes, he just called me and was like, mm. this is going to be a film. <laughs> yeah. Good. Because yeah. before we weren't so well, sure. Well, was not so sure. And yeah, that, yeah, bit, yeah. that bit also never got re-edited. Like this stands yeah. as it, as it is. A lot of things changed yeah. back and forth and we moved around. Mm. So this is very much like the tape of uh, Fuck the Pain Away. Yeah. It is yeah. the way it was originally at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, fascinating. Um, now we talk about that there are like a lot of different kinds of materials in the film. Mm. Um, and obviously you had to make some considerations about how that will impact the visual language of the film and how that will come together from all of these different bits and pieces. Can you talk a bit about that process? You mean how we selected it? How you selected it and how it all really like came together to form like one particular visual language that is all, that is the own of this of this of this film. Mm. Well, there were limitations about the timeline because it yeah. was around we said teachers of mm. peaches time, yeah. which yeah. was I think two thousand and until two thousand three. I'm not hundred percent sure. But then when the album around, came out very yeah. early stuff and when they came to Berlin and still were in Toronto together with Chile and Feist, we said because mm -hmm. otherwise it's too much. It's it's like mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of Peach's careers after that as well, but that we couldn't just cover that. So we focused on that and the now. So and um, as I said, the shows from that time when she sings to the shots that we did right now in the, in the uh, anniversary tour. Um, yeah, that was kind of the yeah. The visual it's the glitches, no? The because glitches, you yeah. introduced the glitch very early. Yeah, I introduced the, the glitch. I, I introduced think, you know, the glitch. Yes, I <laughs> think so. Yeah, I introduced the glitch, uh, which was more like, um, which also is connected to the me uh, thinking of memory. Um, and I think it's this. Uh, it was not so hard actually the the switching between the materials yeah. because the the topics, you know, were kind of re like repeating in the sense that um, the themes that were already talked about yeah. or important in 2000 are still important now. Yeah. So it's a little bit like you, you switch through TV channels or through your memories, mm. yeah. you could always uh, uh, connect it. And so in that sense, it was not really um, uh, an issue to, mm -hmm. to, to connect these, um, these different uh, materials. Yeah. But it surprisingly uh, worked very well to see the young and the older peaches. Uh -huh. This, yeah, this contrast this worked out, even though she's now much more controlled, as I would say, when I spend time with her on the tour, because she has a reputation, she has expectations. And But that time, 20 years ago, she was more rough and raw mm. and more... You, could, cl you get, could get closer to her, and this is very important for a movie like that, that you feel like, yeah. oh, you're getting very close to this person. Yeah. And through the archive and the switching between that, we really achieved that, yeah. yeah. And a lot of the archive <coughs> footage feels very modern. Like she films That's herself yeah. like you would do with a with a smartphone for Instagram. Like she talks yeah. into the camera, which which seems as it could 
you know, like that doesn't feel dated. So no. that she was so ahead of her time with the, the way she used film, also with her Super 8 stuff, like it, it kind of seamlessly went into each other and mm. also like the stage dive in a certain song because it is an anniversary tour will happen in the same song again, right? So you can yeah. just go in and out. Yeah. And also the switching between private and stage was uh, super nice when you see the guitarist like practice that thing and like yeah. a beautiful mm. scene that just happened and so it became a recurring theme, I mm -hmm. think, to be able to go back and forth. Because for Peaches, that's not over. That is everything she takes on stage with her, for sure. Um, yeah. When she goes on an anniversary mm -hmm. tour, all these memories are constantly there. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice that you mentioned this particular scene with the stage diving. That was like a very masterful piece of editing in the film, how it like really yeah. seamlessly like <laughs> swam the past into the present, the present back into the past. It was really, really interesting mm. to see. So can you tell a bit about the editing? Because that is definitely crucial to this movie. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. The, the, yeah, well, what can I say? Um, that is always, for me, really the toughest question when somebody <laughs> asks me about the editing process because I would always say it's a lot of gut feeling. Mm. Um, <laughs> this is literally my, my main answer. Um, yeah. Um, you have a good gut feeling. <laughs> we also don't know how she does it. Like yeah, I know how she does it. <laughs> you do? <laughs> okay. How did well, they do it? Yeah. Okay, Philip, how, how does she do, do it? it? it uh, Help me out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there is first uh, some, some kind of... Uh, because there are a lot of pieces, you need to start with one piece. And you need to fix the sound in that one. Mm. And then slowly you, you get the rhythm, because every song, for example, for this, oh, yeah, this thing, you have a song that has to work out. Sure, yeah. And then you need to find the next pieces which works for this like for a frame or this, uh, this attack, yeah. you need to Im implement that without ruining the rest. And then uh, step by step, you, you make it shorter and shorter and shorter. Mm. And I think Peaches wow. wanted to have that piece e yeah. extra long. I think she wanted to have it two minutes long. That and was Susie was <laughs> fighting yeah. against it. <laughs> we all were fighting against it. So it was when Peaches <laughs> we have even a camera yeah, movement yeah. in it, so we had to... When Peaches is standing on the, on the people and kind of, yeah, that was yeah. supposed to be as long as possible, and it is, was a, a it's a good call actually, um, mm. and I think the the result is uh, actually um, a combination of um, for that particular moment uh, of a different um, thoughts, and that mm. we actually let also you know we kind of work in a in a team, and we always let the other person. Um, obviously share their thoughts and then it's not so much about ego you know me as an editor I, I usually am very open to mm -hmm. you know whatever somebody says could work and I'm like yeah. yeah sure let's try it out and maybe I'm like no actually it's not gonna work I'm still gonna try it out <laughs> yeah just to uh, see yeah but um yeah there's a lot of versions of of bits that went back and forth and got mm. changed back yeah, to how imagine. it was before and like maybe this is better so I think the rhythm was found by yeah, yeah. finding bits that work and then adjusting the, the bits overall, around it. The yeah. overall yeah. rhythm that was yeah. uh, that was a challenge which also mm -hmm. again had to do with the narrative because yeah. um, at first we actually tried to which maybe might seem like the more obvious approach to go into um, you know the biographical part you, yeah. you go into the archive you tell okay this is how Meryl became Peaches. Um, and then you go into the now, you say, okay, this is the anniversary tour. And, uh, and then we tried that out. We had a, I don't know, 100 minute, 20 minute, 120 minutes cut and we watched it and we thought, no, mm -hmm. this is gonna fail so hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but we figured it out, yeah. <laughs> It out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Thankfully. There's a lot of weaving Thankfully. things in and out, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was also interesting to me because, like, obviously it's recognizably a documentary and like a portrait of an artist, but then it kind of still breaks with certain expectations or certain rules or 
traditions of the genre. One of the things is, for instance, what you just mentioned, that obviously there is this yeah. topical way of going with, with, a, with, a, with a set timeline and everything. Um, so I was wondering, um, was this a conscious choice <laughs> to flip the narrative a bit, or, or was this really just authentic to, to the material at hand? I think it was actually authentic to to uh, to Peaches, you know, because mm. Peaches also doesn't follow in the sense of like a not. genre or like mm. um, 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 norms and rules. So mm. this this kind of developed uh, or like played into it kind of mm. naturally. I think mm. I'm not sure it was uh, like it was definitely not a choice at the very beginning, you know, but yeah. it, it, it mm. kind of played into it and. Um, I mean, yeah, and uh, her her way of of working and how she developed is also not um, very very typical or like a, from a from a rule book, you know. Um, I mean, I still think it's very bold to just decide with thirty five that you you know quit your job percent. and become a, like a full time musician yeah. and. Um, and so, yeah, that it's not your typical story of becoming a, a musician. So there was, uh, yeah, I guess also not a typical way of telling uh, her mm. story in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. There is uh, there is this very um, interesting moment in the film where Peaches is talking about mainstream mm. and how um, how she always kind of wanted mainstream to come closer to her. <clears throat> rather than the other way around and that it's kind of cool because by now in 2024 we could kind of say that yeah that sort of happened mm -hmm. um, it certainly came closer and I was wondering a bit about how do you see I mean obviously you work very closely with her and a lot of work went into making this film um, how do you see her legacy and her impact on the music industry and on this whole entertainment landscape at large. This is also touched upon in the film. There are like segments about this, but I was wondering of your of your view of it. Oh yeah, that's a big question. No, what 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 impact did that have on the in industry? You know, has yeah. it changed something? I think the the Peach story can do something for. I don't know the confidence of being an artist that is not mainstream like I think it really tells a story mm. of like how you can stay true to your ideas or what you think is right and then you have your friends who become the people that you work with and you, you might not be like the one most successful but you can really create something outside of this and yeah. just stick it out and wait mm. for it to come round because people will love you for what you do and who you are and a lot of what Peaches does is about creating a, a community, a, a space for people to really be able to be who they are mm. and that's something that's very beautiful and people feel that. So I think she just organically grew the Peaches universe bit by bit. Yeah. And that's a, that's a beautiful is it an anti-mainstream message? I don't know, but it is a it is a message of showing a way, a possibility. Yeah, and that's very Berlin as well. I think in a way, that's why we're all here. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And let's talk about Berlin because Berlin plays a massive role, obviously, in Peach's life mm -hmm. and and her work, but also in the film. Um, yeah, how how would you describe this very strong link between Peach's career? Um, her life and the city of Berlin, and how did you translate that <laughs> onto onto the screen? I mean, it was uh, from the beginning clear that that also through the archive that the link is that that this was a wild time, a fairy tale. Is, I think Chili mm. says yeah, that, that's and nice uh, and uh, I don't know what he said. Uh, weird ones first here in Berlin and then this mm -hmm. speaks for Berlin and this is also how I got to know Berlin and, <laughs> and this I think also I, mean, I cannot speak for me that's why I'm here I love it and uh, mm. and I still it's still a little bit like that not as crazy as it was maybe it's more commercialized but um, they say that every 10 years huh? they say that every, they, 10, they say every 10 years <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, I'm quite proud of it that this uh, that mm -hmm. this happens here and it's a, it's a 
cool uh, insight into Berlin, Berlin culture. And uh, I think it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think Berlin was the, the place yeah. for, for, for this. this. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. The, the, and also the time, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure, yeah, ten, like now, if it would be the same. I mean, it's very it was still. really the place and, and, and time. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, yeah, of course, like the whole industry changed a lot as yeah. well, and how we consume music and art. And, and it's and still all. a very liberal city. Yeah, One that's of the most yeah, liberal. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, Democracy absolutely. Wise and freedom. But yeah, it was it was wonderful to see those uh, like bits and pieces of archival footage about about that time yeah. and, and okay, the going shows. The city, no? Yeah, and it's it not was... like it's not we did it because we got funding from Berlin. It just happened naturally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they would be also very happy about it. But I love yeah, that I'm scene. Sure. <laughs> like, isn't it so nice when she's on the on a mattress on the floor because she just moved into her new apartment? Yeah. And then she says, "I have a balcony." Yeah, and I you look outside so and you yeah, see yeah. the S bahn The, the like, sound of the tram. That's <laughs> very. Yeah. That's Berlin. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. also how probably most of us started. You know, in your first VG or your first flat and yeah. you don't really have furniture yet but you're already happy you're there no yeah even though having a balcony luxury yeah. <laughs> luxury yeah. nowadays <laughs> yeah um yeah as we talked about it a, a bit in the beginning as well that there is obviously um a difference between <laughs> peaches as an artistic persona as an artwork um and the person behind it meryl um, this is quite emphasized um, in the film. Um, can you talk a bit about this particular aspect and why did you find it um, so important to, to really put this at center stage? I mean, we're all humans. We all cook with water, mm -hmm. you know. She, she did not woke up like peaches. She was Meryl that worked hard. To, to on her ideology and her image to become that and and uh, I personally was looking for an a, for a way and I discussed it with you very often how can we get it into the movie mm. you know without directly pointing on yeah. it so yeah. Black Cracker did a great job it was the last interview we did <laughs> to point out how Peaches <laughs> is <laughs> at home mm. with the cats and uh, and I think we found a very funny way to to tell that mm. the, 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 the Peaches, the real peaches, without filming her cooking coffee, which would be the other option. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, she also said like she was always very interested in theatre. So you can see that in the show. Mm. Like that's more like a I don't know a musical theatre production. Mm. That's right. Yeah. So mm. in that, she plays the role of peaches. Yeah. So it is a very clear. Distinction. I love that moment when they all go and have their hair changed mm -hmm. as like a crossing the threshold where they all become this other character. They all go to the same person. They go into character to be that on tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's also something I think that can be protecting yourself a little bit. So you can switch mm. that character off. You can be private. Um, so that was a really crucial moment for me as well. And I think it's probably a truth for a lot of artists that there, there is an, a stylized persona and there's yeah. a person behind it. Yeah, yeah and I think especially in, in Peach's case that, mm, you know, Peach's gets usually uh, shown very, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, extreme. I don't like this word, mm. but you know, like, I yeah. think... Uh, that, yeah, maybe you don't imagine her very quiet and calm with the cats at home or, you know. Yeah. And I um, think that's, yeah, that's a big part, obviously. <laughs> She's like this, this one person course. with two uh, various sides, actually, so, yeah. Yeah. What you just mentioned uh, in this moment about that there is a bit of this collaborative, familiar aspect of, of working with Peaches and there are like very nice interview segments with, with the people who who worked on this show together with her and there are even like comments that yeah like it's not the person necessarily who is hired for the job who does the <laughs> job the best but who is the best to work with exactly. um, and, and all of that. How infectious was that for your process as a filmmaking team? We, st we started up out with this, this was also why I got into this and we got into um, this project 
because the wish was that we have a diverse team, an mm -hmm. inclusive team with various people, um, and not only white men, you know, in all the positions. And when we when I spoke with Peaches at the beginning, this was quite clear that we we need to f get everyone in the movie who is on the tour. Mm -hmm. you know, that was was her wish and. Uh, and this is how also we established trust, and, uh, and I think we did, we did quite well to include, include everyone and to yeah. fulfill her wish as, as also the character and her image that she's working for, yeah, fighting yeah. for. I think that the working as a group yeah. was something that we just had in common, like mm. from the start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was uh, really fun to see the team and like some of the people for them it was the first time to do a big tour like that exactly and it was learning by doing for them and to some mm. extent it was that for us for as us, well yeah it's not only like uh, in the in the in the task i think um, um like a documentary project in this with this amount like with this amount of um, diverse footage yeah. was uh, new to all of us. Mm -hmm. So not only in mm -hmm. that regard um, was it learning by doing, uh, but um, kind of a... Now I lost my thread, actually. <laughs> <laughs> kind of... Um, yeah, so it was not only new to us, but we also were open to the to this uh, to this journey that the the m movie could uh, develop in various yeah. uh, directions, you know, and yeah. that, um, yeah. Yeah, I lost my thread a bit. But the idea was never that we, from from uh, up to down, yeah. looking down on her uh -huh. as a, yeah. as a, as a yeah. subject. So, you know, we wanted to be on the same level, mm. and also she's an artist like we are, and we can discuss certain ideas. Right. And we might find a better idea. Yeah. To, in the, yeah, in the dialogue, so that was kind of the approach. So we mm. didn't, and I was also the beginning clear. I told her like, no, we did not exclude you from the editing room. Come over when you, yeah. Yeah, when we are yeah. ready, or when we want to show you, and it's, it's totally she? fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. We sat together. And it's very untypical. It's not not so common to do that. Yeah, um, yeah. That's actually I'm a big part of the uh, working process that we mm. that we, you know, we have a first rough cut, and mm. we know this kind of stinks still. It's not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not, yes. you know, we're not like, ooh, this is great. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. But the thing is, we don't wait for this moment to, to come. Usually, we have a first rough cut. It's way too long. It doesn't work yet. But we're going to uh, show it to uh, a handful of people. Some people who work in film, others who uh, are more like, you know, on the, on the visitor yeah. kind of spectrum. Like mm. my mom. Like yes, first mom. But it's mom <laughs> always <laughs> involved in everything. And so this is... Uh, <laughs> We also did show that very first uh, cut, and also to uh, Peaches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did get critique as well, uh, ra you know, righteously. Do you say that righteously? Yeah. Um, and so, but that was a big part of the process. And mm -hmm. this is, but also before, we, this is the way we kind of work, you know, because yeah. you kind of have to put your ego aside and, and yeah, learn, learn by doing. Yeah. 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 So did we just see the final version? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is coming. she saw many versions. Yeah, many versions. Yeah. <laughs> and what what was her her take on this on this Maybe. final piece? She's, I think she's very happy. I think yeah. it, if yeah. she wasn't happy, we wouldn't be done. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. that's like, a good yeah, answer, actually. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> like, no, this was uh, very important. I mean, we have to say, uh, we had the, the picture lock already, and she was not happy. So mm. we had to open the picture lock again. It's a little change. secret. It's a yeah, it's a little yeah. secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it a secret? Oh my god. No, not, not anymore. anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Yes, not that's anymore. what we like. Your secret's <laughs> coming out. No, no, yes. We had, a, we had a picture lock and then there was a certain part was um, a little, yeah. that she wanted to go more in detail. <laughs> Let's, mm. yeah. you know, to have it more um, true to... Yeah. Yeah. Or more, I don't know. Yeah, filled with more details. Let's put it that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we did that, even though it was already uh, graded and mixed. Yeah. Which, is, yeah. which is mostly impossible to do that. Mm. But we did. Yeah. 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 We did that. Yeah. Nice. Dedication. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, if somebody, it, we started off with your first encounters with Peaches. If this film would be someone's first encounter with Peaches and and her persona and her music, um, what do you hope they would take away from this, from this journey? What they would take away? 
had a good a peaches t-shirt. <laughs> no, I mean I not bad. I think um, there's there, there is a, there's a bigger message in that. No, like it's a kind of hopeful message. Like you can make it work. It's mm. not. It might not be easy, but if you stick with it, like fuck them, you can still do it, and you you can follow your dream, I guess. And there's there's a there's a power in that in that statement that I think is very mm. is very strong and very cozy at the same time. In yeah. That. Maybe it's that. Be who you want to be. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Black Cracker says it yeah. so nicely again. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what does he say? Um, like, uh, it's a celebration of a big fuck you, kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. And this, this yeah. is a great sentence. And I mean, this was um, in connection to the anniversary tour, but it kind of stands for the entire uh, film, I believe, that you just, you know, just uh, kind of be who you are and be comfortable with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds a bit cheesy maybe now the way I say it, but um, this is for me is a big take uh, from that, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and I hope it's very, very inspiring. For example, my mom was like, wow, she's 56 and she's still rocking. She has mm. so much energy. She said like, Philip, okay, I'm coming now with you to the Kit Kat. Yeah, still, <laughs> still <Kit -Kat>. <laughs> 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 I want to go yeah. to a show of her. I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's never yeah. told. I mean, yeah. And this it's is, just a fun cool. movie, no? Like, you can just take away a good time. Yeah. Feel good. Feel yeah. Right? good movie. Yeah, yeah, I think that's also an important thing, yeah, right? And that's also Especially valid. these days. It doesn't have to be about like drama. Uh, yeah. Or like, a, we, this is also an important part. We weren't looking like really for a drama or anything, you know, in the, yeah. in the narrative. It was not like, oh, let's find something in the tour, mm. what happened, da, da, or like this kind of thing that very often I feel yeah. like stories about stars is like they go on tour and then something happens or yeah. look what happened in the past, da, da, da. And um, I mean, in the, in the making of the Teachers of Peaches album, the, the time that the album was created, it was a, it was a heavy time for for peaches, mm. but mm -hmm. it was not the, it was not the focus really, or like not so much like yeah. how you say, you know, dig out the the drama yeah. kind of vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, there's right. a celebration of like yeah, uh, th this darkness is there. I think Shirley Manson says it as well um, in the in the interview. And mm. I mean, yeah, like it's it's a breakup album, which is right. uh, mind blowing. But it, she decided not to have a sad breakup album, but to take her little machine and uh, go to Berlin. And yeah, yeah. there she was. Uh, that's yeah. pretty remarkable. Yeah, inspirational it is. That's for yeah. sure. Inspirational. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. It was really mm. a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Thank, well, you. thank you for having us.